Hello and welcome to the first episode of Pitch Point, bite-sized videos of Web3 projects that get to the points, brought to you by Web3 Media. I'm your host, Max, co-founder of adamoments.io, a decentralized social media based out of the Netherlands. We empower creators by giving back control. For example, deciding what AI you want to grant permission to, to train on your data. Today, I'm interviewing Evangelos for PitchPoint. He is the creator of Coffee Monks. His pitch is about changing the psychological gig space and boosting mental health via Web3, something that's needed. I'm sure many of us can agree. Let's dive in. All right, and we're live. Evangelos, thanks so much for making it. Hey, Max, thank you so much for the invitation. How are you? Yeah, doing great, man. Um, we're going to dive straight in because this is a short format, uh, as you know. So it's a no-nonsense discussion, giving maximal, maximum signal and minimum noise to our crowd. We're going to keep it tight, make it right, and busting a rhyme ain't no crime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically two minutes for you to pitch and then seven minutes Q&A. And then one minute in the end to wrap up. Maybe you can share any announcements that you have or promotions. And uh, that's about it. So with that, let's have a look at your pitch. I know you had something you wanted to share. I'll uh, let you know when the two minutes are up. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so uh, Coffee Monks, Coffee Monks, it's, uh, it's a project that's aiming to, to give free therapies, psychology therapies for free to people in need. Uh, we are aiming to do that to do this through um, through an NFT and CNT uh, minting procedure. That at the same time you're minting NFTs and CNTs, and you are able through that liquidity to give free therapies to people. Uh, we believe that Cardano needs more real world impact uses. Blockchain needs more real world impact uses use cases to to be something more than a decentralized casino, something more than a speculation. And we want to leverage the Cardano blockchain, the awesome, awesome community that is there uh, by putting a positive impact to the world. Uh, how we're planning to do this? Uh, we're going to have a treasury that here you will be able to uh, accumulate free therapies. And we're also going to have a minting mechanism so when you're gonna to when when you're going to be minting an NFT with your ADA, you're gonna be getting an NFT and you're going to be be getting the CNT. And then with the NFT, you have already a free therapy attached. And then with a CNT that you have in your wallet, you're going to be either doing a second therapy for free, or you can donate these CNT tokens that you took for free into a treasury for somebody else to take a free therapy session without needing to invest, gamble, or whatever. Uh, and we have a third choice in case you just are here for the profits. You can just take your NFT, take your CNTs, and go into a DEX in a MinSwap, Vi Finance, wherever you want. Go to DEX aggregator and just dump it into the pool and take uh, take ADA back. And then we have some uh, real world um, rewards of this uh, phase two, where you will be able to go and uh, earn tokens only by paying with ADA instead of dollars or euros. This is a, okay. a really fast pitch, let's say. Yeah, yeah, it's not a lot of time that we uh, that we give, but uh, all right, I get I get the gist here. But maybe just a few clarifying questions because I'm sure not everybody is 100% familiar with all of the concepts here. But just in terms of CNT, like what what do you mean by that? Uh, CNT is a Cardano native asset. Uh, so, for example, World Mobile Token has a CNT. Mm -hmm. Snack has a CNT. Sure. Uh, every yes, every every native token in Cardano blockchain is a CNT. So we're planning to have NFTs assets, uh, but also leveraging the CNT assets at the same time. And just to understand the the tokens and and what role they play, right? So you have the NFTs and you have the CNTs. Mm -hmm. So in in terms of the client as well as the well, the monk, right? Is who who is the psychological support? role in this case yeah uh, so like what, what are the three all the elements involved around these tokens the personalities let's say yeah so the um, the nfts uh as soon as you mean the nft you're getting the nft that has one therapy attached okay so that's clear 
And then you get also the CNTs that you have these three choices. The CNTs are, are actually like a ticket. So with this ticket, you can either do a second therapy for you mm -hmm. for free because you took it for free by minting, or you can give it to a person straight. I can give it to you and you can do for free a therapy only with these CNTs, just like a ticket. Or you can put it in a treasury as we saw here, um, as we saw here, and then somebody else that never invested, never did anything can go activate a smart contract, take the CNTs, give it to the platform, do a, a, a choose the psychologist from a portfolio of psychologists. You can choose whatever you want uh, and do a, do a therapy for free. And when you do this, the tokens are getting burned. So they're not a sell pressure into the, okay. into the circulating supply anytime. Okay. Okay. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of tokens here going around. I think one of the base questions we just want to come back to real quick is, you know, what's the problem that you're trying to tackle here? And what, what is the, the group of people that you see are they going to be the first ones to make use of uh, coffee mugs? So um, I'll tell you, it's funny. Everybody needs this. Even a therapist needs uh, uh, a therapy. Uh, first of all, second of all, I already went for the fun 12 and it was unsuccessful. I had like 13 million votes, 14, 13.8, something like that. Uh, and whoever, many people I talked later were like, oh man, this is unfortunate. You didn't, uh, you didn't take the, um, the funding. I would love to do a therapy. I would, I would use that product for sure. Uh, yeah. so except of having a real world utility that people need, especially in this space that you're in front of the PC or uh, your phone eight to 10 hours, man, it's so overwhelming. Sometimes even myself, I'm having like burnouts or breakouts or whatever. I'm, I'm just going crazy sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, every, everybody does. So maybe a free support without one hour of support could be useful at the same time. Uh, if you see in the milestone of our past funding, on the third milestone, we have an open call for the Cardano community to come and work with us as therapists. So it's not something they're going to keep for us and we're going to say, okay, come to me as a client, let's say. I'm studying psychology also. Uh, but we're opening to make a global platform that people from, I don't know, from Latin America to Africa to Asia, they will be able to come to this platform and provide their service to people they need it. And so, for example, let's say somebody from Greece and somebody from Japan can have so different cultural, uh, you know, gap, such a mm -hmm. big difference. And maybe a Japanese, uh, let's say, therapist will be way more uh, easier to uh, advise uh, a Japanese client Maybe I could do that also as an European, but maybe Japanese could be closer to, to the understanding the culture. So we're aiming yeah. to do something global, something international. We, we don't just want to make something for ourselves. We want to put it open source and the whole Cardano community is invited to come with their CVs and yeah, make it yeah. together. Yeah, I mean, huge, huge ideas, huge dream, you know, and of course, like that's that's what this space is also about is really uh, exactly like what you're advocating here is is big moonshots. Let's mm -hmm. think a little bit about how do you break this down into something small, right? Like what's the MVP mm -hmm. look like that you could see as a good starting point to prove that the model works? Yeah, so uh, something really positive we have is that the developer is at the same time a co-founder. He wants to be a co-founder. So when we properly launch this and the, we came, uh, we came out and uh, we came to the conclusion that the MVP is to uh, launch the simultaneous minter. So when you mint the NFT, you have the, uh, let's say you have the CNTs at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, we need, let's say, five psychologists in a portfolio. We need an initial liquidity for the, for the token to have. And, uh, and we need an artist that we already have, Leonardo. He's from Italy. Uh, so we need only to mean the NFTs, some, some liquidity and the development part that's from the co-founder. And we just need to run all of these smart contracts that are about um this is the most challenging part but it it can be it can be done especially when we have a developer um yeah. that you need to activate here by sending the 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 tokens or you can claim the tokens uh or you can uh, you, you know all of this circle liquidity from one nft side to the other 
And the good thing is that we're working already in the tokenomics with a third party, with, with T-1, with uh, mm -hmm. Steven Words, and he, this guy is brilliant. He, this guy is just leveraging the idea even even more. And uh, yeah. we are, pre we are yeah, securing, securing the, the protocol for any attack or whatever, because people could take advantage of that, of that free thing and they could do a malicious act, but we have been prepared for that also. Okay, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, legal and compliance, right? In the psychological field and data privacy, those are some seriously big topics. I'm sure that mm -hmm. uh, your users would be interested to understand. Um, mm -hmm. in, in that vein, I mean, we're running a little bit low on time here, but I do want to ask, you know, if you had one chance to, you know, form a partnership uh, with somebody in the Cardano community on the Web3 wider space for that matter, who would that be? Who would be your number one goal for a partnership uh, that you would want to collaborate with? Oh man, I never thought of that. I never thought of that. Uh, but uh, I'm just gonna uh, give a, a gross answer. Uh, just just a partnership that would give us exposure to people. We just need real people here. We don't we don't need anything else. We we just need real people to uh, to come and take. Uh, advantage of this uh, service we want to give awesome all right evangelos well i hope that uh, i get to have a case with you you know and uh, talk about uh, <laughs> needing to go for a run more often <laughs> anytime um, yeah <laughs> anytime. i know i know you're in a sunny part of europe that that's got to help as well you know yeah, let's let's make for a, sure, for a sure. retreat out of coffee monks it sounds brilliant yeah um, we're gonna drink plenty of coffee everything is better when you drink a lot of coffee <laughs> yeah yeah we'll be bouncing do you have any any closing remarks or announcements or or re follows that you'd like people to be aware of um yeah any social media i mean by that anything yeah. you want to share with the crowd yeah currently we we are aiming to launch the project with our funds as soon as we are able to make it. Uh, we're going to go for Fund 13 if and when this is available. Uh, so please, I welcome you to find us out on coffeemonks.io, either on Cardano Coffee Monks on Twitter or on my personal uh, Twitter, Meditator Crypto or Crypto Meditator. And yeah, I'm, I'm here anytime on the Twitter, every, like 10 hours per day. I can answer any questions you might have. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks so much, Evangelos. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Max, for the invitation. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye now.